What's good, you guys? Um, so this is my first video in 2020. So cheers to that. Happy, happy. This video is going to be about how to properly flip a sample. And what that means is just going beyond the basic looping. We're going to start with this really simple sample. I also have this random little drum loop over here. And let's hear it with our sample. Beautiful. Now I'm going to open up Ableton's drum rack and I'm using um, the Native Instruments machine, uh, the pads, but you can use anything for what we're about to do. You can use pads, you can use a keyboard, you can use your computer keyboard. Um, what you will need if you're not in Ableton is some kind of sampler that you can drag your samples into that lay it across your keyboard. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is drag this sample into C1, which is going to be the bottom left pad on the machine. I'm going to take the velocity all the way down because I want it to be the exact same volume no matter how hard I hit the pad. The next thing I'm going to do, and this is a little drum rack shortcut, is hold down Alt and then click and drag, and then it'll copy that sample. And on the second one, I want to go to the second note. Turn the fade in up just a touch. And let's pull the end. So we just get in this note. There we go. All right. Then I'm going to do Alt, drag again, and then on this third one, I'm going to grab the third note, and then Alt, click again for the fourth one, and then on this fourth one, I'm going to grab these last little two quick notes. So now I have the four chops laid out on these four pads, but you'll notice they're all playing over top of each other and it sounds like shit. Um, so we're going to go over here and open up these parameters in drum rack and right here where it says in and out. And we're going to go over here where it says choke and select one on all four of these. Now... Boom, now you can just chop them however you want, however fast you want. And as soon as you hit a new button, it stops what was already happening. So what I have in my four chops, the left one is the whole loop and it starts at the very beginning of the loop. And I'm gonna leave it like that because I can either let the whole loop play or I can just stutter that first note. And these other three are all shorter. And now that everything's all laid out, we're just going to have like a little jam session and you just kind of mess around with it, try different combos and you just figure out different ways these pieces will fit together. you guys that is all for this one stay tuned for the next one peace